Macmillan Audio presents Man in the Dark by Paul Auster. Read for you by the author. I am alone in the dark, turning the world around in my head as I struggle through another bout of insomnia, another white night in the great American wilderness. Upstairs, my daughter and granddaughter are asleep in their bedrooms, each one alone as well. The 47-year-old Miriam, my only child, who has slept alone for the past five years, and the 23-year-old Katya, Miriam's only child, who used to sleep with a young man named Titus Small. But Titus is dead now, and Katya sleeps alone with her broken heart. Bright light, then darkness. Sun pouring down from all corners of the sky followed by the black of night, the silent stars, the wind stirring in the branches. Such is the routine. I have been living in this house for more than a year now, ever since they released me from the hospital. Miriam insisted that I come here, and at first it was just the two of us, along with a day nurse who looked after me when Miriam was off at work. Then, three months later, the roof fell in on Katya, and she dropped out of film school in New York and came home to live with her mother in Vermont. His parents named him after Rembrandt's son, the little boy of the paintings, the golden-haired child in the red hat, the daydreaming pupil puzzling over his lessons, the little boy who turned into a young man ravaged by illness and who died in his twenties, just as Koch's Titus did. It's a doomed name, a name that should be banned from circulation forever.